The open wide has a zero offset C2, but that seems to lead to some confusion. So let me explain it one more time. Uh, normally you have a C tube, goes up to the saddle, and then the seat post has an offset. So instead of going there in a zigzag way, we go there directly. So you have the C tube, the offset, what we take is that offset point, and then we go straight to the bottom bracket, and that's the line that the C tube is on. So you don't need an offset seat post. Now, if you look at the proper way to dimension a frame, which is stack and reach, that's not affected at all by how the C-tube angle and what offset the seat post is. So stack and reach comparisons to other frames are absolutely fine. You'll see that it's, uh, the geometry is very normal um, and you can make comparisons with your old bike and your new open wide without a problem. However, if you insist on uh, measuring top tube length, top tube length is something that's very affected by the C-tube angle and therefore also not a very good measurement. But if you insist on using it, then I would suggest that you check out the normalized geometry chart that we have. So we show in our geometry chart the C-tube angle and the, C -tube and the top tube length in the standard and the normalized version. If you look at the normalized version, you can compare it to normal frames that don't have this zero offset C-tube.